Alright. Let's go fuck up the throne with my totally fair team. My totally 100% fair build for this game. Thank you, Shiva. Really? You're the first ones to go down? To Dazai? What was that about humans not needing gods or demons? All that talk and look where it got you! Are you alright, Hyakumo? Do you really think this will be enough to stop me? The very reason you can put up resistance at all is by the grace of our Lord. This is but a trial he has laid before me. And you are but a pawn in his grand design. In that case, I will see that your trial concludes at the end of my blade. Humanity's future is in our hands. He doesn't know when to quit. It's time we end this. Dazai, lend me your power! I'm actually kind of surprised that it's, it's been so long since we fought, um, Nuwa. Like, Nuwa was the first area boss of the game. We, we, like, Nuwa has not been a factor for us in a while. I'm legitimately surprised that you guys are taken out first. Honest to God. So this is the power of the Nahobino. And to Dazai. Yakumo. Yakumo, get up. I'm sorry, Nua. You should never have been dragged into this. From now on, you're free to act of your own accord. So you've come. I fought for the future of mankind, but it seems this is as far as I go. Tell me, boy. Have you any consideration for humanity? If so, might you bear this burden? Succeed where we failed. Cease your begging. It's pitiful. It's clear I've lost, and I was always meant to. <laughs> I may not have created my ideal world, but I'll die as I lived, true to myself. Or did he die first because I picked neutral? Because it would make no sense. Actually, I mean, it would make sense to team up if there were two neutral reps going through this. Like with uh, Nocturne, if you side with Chiaki, even at the end, you still have to fight Chiaki because. Because fuck you. I'm pretty sure you have to fight every, like everyone you side with, regardless. At the end of, uh, oh, she's just gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I guess um, because like in Nocturne, no matter who you side with, you still have to fight him as a boss. So I guess this game is just like, yeah, but if we just uh, remove them, <laughs> yeah, if we just remove them. This is your Nahabino form? 
Your presence in the Empyrean can mean only one thing. You too seek to recreate the world. However, your ambition ends here. God's order must be preserved. The throne will be mine. And an Ahobino will perish. I question question. If that Shinar Habino form... Ooh, this is nice. If you're not Habino, if this Shinar Habino form is some weird... But again, we're going back to ball gods. If you're some weird ball god shit, why is mine just Kamen Rider me? Instead of some weird amalgamation. Like... I need to ice, alright. And she has a lot of fire. Alright, but yeah, why why is it like that? Because then, am I only human-like because Algami is a proto-fiend? In which case then, what's up? That's, that's strange. Man, I could swap in... I could swap in Ariok and this could be a rude fight. <laughs> I could swap in Ariok and this would be a rude-ass fight. In which case, then, I am even more ex- Ooh. Oh no, you block it. Fuck, never mind. Uh, yeah, like, I'm even more interested now in what Sahori's Nahabino form would have been. Because I figured her Nahabino form would have just been a red version of, like, what I look like. Which, well, uh, what? Her hair was, like, sort of burgundy. It's like a burgundy version, which would have been really cool to see. But now I'm even more, I'm even more, like, interested. Because, like... Cause what? It's really unfortunate that you're weak to ice. It's really unfortunate. I see, I can certainly understand how you're able to defeat me once before. But now I too am an... Now I too am an Ahabino, and now you will know my power. Depraved arm and depraved wing moved. Magic reflecting barrier. All right, we need to we need to deal with uh, things real quick. And again, I, I've just got so many. Stop them if you've got them. This will do. You're weak to lightning, luster candy, and Makara Khan. That's an issue. All right. No While we're here, then also smoke if you've got them. I'll see on week two. Light. Fair enough. Mac. Not awful, but Prod Mac. In fact, you know what? I won't lift that. You know what? I won't lift that. Purely to live the playing food. I'm not going to lift that. I'm gonna just let that rock.
You gave me a, a crit? Thank you. It will seem I cannot afford to hold anything back. No more games then. If it takes all my might, then so be it. That did look really cool, but I'm afraid someone blocked you entirely. Man, that created for almost 4k. I did not, okay. I did not expect that. <laughs> Jesus. Man. You came and not have me enough for nothing. You should have fought Shiva like me. Man, that's a shame. Man, that's a real shame right there. No final words? Nothing? You just okay, you're just gone. Just what kind of world would you come so far to create? Were you just watching? <laughs> His wish is the same as Yakumo's. He seeks to destroy the throne. Is that so? You'll be the one to carry on Yakumo's will. Were you just vibing? In that case, allow me to disclose another possibility. You know all too well that Yakumo and I sought to destroy the throne. However, that was far from our ultimate plan. Our true cause for fighting was to claim the throne and use it to create a world void of both gods and demons. A clean slate, so to speak. Do keep that in mind. Okay, fair enough. You gonna peace out again? Yep, she just peace it out again. Alright, fair enough. At what point does the divergence happen though? Because again, I know I've done everything required to get the secret ending. I just don't know like what the secret ending is or what the divergence point is. <laughs> I just I just know it happens. Because like, I tried to look, like I tried to like look up the requirements without knowing what it was to not spoil myself. And one of the sort of requirements was just, yo, do side quests and fight the boss. Like, okay, cool. And I looked up another information. <laughs> I don't know what the divergence point is. It's somewhere. It does sign.
Hey, Goku. Where's Sukiyomi? So, you've come. This is the Hall of Creation, resting place of the throne. Now, as to who will claim it, frankly, it matters not to me. I thought I might find you here. I expected as much from the one who wields my brother's power. Yeah, we never really talk about that. We really never talk about that. That should have more weight in the story than it does. But if our goals do not align, there can be no reconciliation. Not even with you. And he just pieces out. Goku's just like, nah, man, I have none of that. Moon siphon and a moon mustache. I like it. Because Kazukiyomi, I get it. I like it. A crash between two true gods. This is a Virgil fight right here. And again. Again, Asukiyomi's not hoping no form is more in line with mine. Just um just a dude. Just a dude. So like what determines what makes a Nahobino form? Mine mine and Sasano's is just a dude in an outfit. And Sukiyomi and uh Artitas is again a dude in an outfit. So what the fuck happened with Darzai? What the fuck happened with Darzai? What would be Sahori's? Hell, what the fuck would be Yakumo's? Like, how, what dictates? Genuinely, what dictates? I don't know. Here. Fire. Alright, fair enough. There's a lot of ice and light. Piercing, alright. True replication creates a replica. False replication creates a replica. Uh Okay. Again, this is a goddamn Virgil fight right here. Just two dudes. Brothers quite literally, just going for oh no. <laughs> True brothers quite literally just going the fuck at it. Alright, uh, well. You know what we gotta do? Phineas, my boy. You're more in line with this guy's level anyway, so it works out. Man, look at that health discrepancy, that's insane. Man, Fion taking damage. Fion's actually taking, like, legit damage. <laughs> Man can be hurt. Think about how wild that is. I'm seeing a guy actually be hurt. That damage number is more realistic. 
instead of this nonsense. <laughs> I'm doing a thousand more damage than him. And we're just not going to question. The one guy you could damage, you missed. My guy. <gasps> My guy. This is rude AF, let me tell you. This shit here, rude AF. for 4,000. My guy. My brother in Christ. My brother in Christ, what are you doing? If I was using, if I was using severe instead of heavy, would that be happening to me? It did look nice, but still, like, man, my brother in Christ, what is happening here? Literally, my brother. Literally, my brother. If I was using um, severe attack instead of uh, heavy attacks, would I crit for 4k? Oh, we didn't even get to use any of his replica shit. You know what? Let's, let me, let me see some of that nonsense. Let me see that replica shit you got going on. Don't want to just let this rock because I want to actually see what you have. I'm gonna keep that up though. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that up though. That looks really cool. That actually looks really cool. Alright, you're not gonna- you're- okay. You know what? Alright. My- my brother. My brother, you are- okay. You tried. I respect the effort. Did I not have Fionn's essence? Alright. All right, well then, we're good. The Nahobino who will take the throne has been determined. Thus, I shall fulfill my role. For ages, I have watched over this world. But at last, I can administer my true duty. What up, bro? Now, take the throne. Become its new ruler. Okay, but what is your what is your duty? What is your role? Are you just the administrator? The throne keeper? Nahobino, 
You have the potential to rule this world. You truly wish the throne destroyed? With such great power at your disposal, there's surely another way to achieve your goal. I ask that you carefully consider your decision. and demons. Your heart is set. That too is the right of the one who rules the world. Come, take the throne. Make your vision a reality. Oh, you're okay with that because it's not destroying the throne. It's still using the throne even if it's to fuck up to fuck up all the gods. You're cool with that because it's still using the throne, keeping it intact. All right. Rather fickle, mistress, aren't you? Go join my party again. Uh, why did she... Yes. If she doesn't... This marks the birth of a new creator. A new world in his image. My true name is Amitabha. I exist to serve as the light of creation. Now let your will be done. By the power of the throne, may your ideal world be revealed. Why did she dissipate into me? Is she is she like a manifestation of the power of creation? Like what, what was what was that? Did she unlock my ability to use the throne? Like how's that what like what? What happened? Young man, this is farewell. Artificial though I may be, I am still a demon. As such, I shall disappear with the rest. I am proud to have made this journey with you. Truly I am. Hold there. Won't you listen to what I have to say? Just interrupting me, goddamn. Where the fuck you been? As new ruler, you have chosen to eradicate all traces of gods and demons from the very fabric of existence. However, humankind is fated to give rise to demons. Your vision cannot hope to last, no matter what you do. And yet... There is a way to accomplish this. Do you wish to know what that is? You will find me in the realm beyond the earth and heavens. Best come prepared. Okay, we're gonna have to fuck up Lucifer. Alright. We gonna fuck up Lucifer. All right, true demon ending. Let's go. Come to the world beyond uh, the earth and heavens will mean that you will no longer return to the world that you once knew. Because it's only when you're absolutely certain that you're ready. Oh god. All right. 
All right, boy, we about to do some true demon ending right here. Let's fucking go. Is this the end? Is this it? Does Lucifer not show up if I didn't beat Shiva and do the uh, side quest and all that? Maybe, because that looked like an ending cutscene and then he just inserted himself into the situation. <laughs> so maybe this is it.